business is still booming at Georgia Power. The company owns and operates the Bowen Electric Generating Plant, a two-hour drive from Atlanta, the state capital of Georgia. Here in Georgia, about 70% of our electricity is produced from coal. Coal is a relatively inexpensive source of energy. It's one of the reasons why our uh, electricity rates are well below the national average. Coal has been the backbone of our system for, for many decades. The power plant can supply up to 800,000 households with electricity. Several years ago, the operator had to invest in new technology to meet state emission standards. What this scrubber does, it removes the sulfur dioxide emissions from the flue gas. About 95% of the sulfur dioxide will be removed from the gas as it goes out the top of the stack. But much of the technology still dates back to the 1970s. The same outdated technology is used in nearby Shearer Power Plant, which is also operated by Georgia Power. Environmental activists Colleen Kiernan and Kurt Ebersbach say the power plant produces the same amount of carbon dioxide per year as 4.6 million cars, which makes it a major global polluter. Coal is dirty no matter what you do to it. You can, you know, take some of the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide out of, from coming out of the stacks, but then you still have to deal with all the stuff that removed it. You have to store it somewhere. You have these huge coal ash ponds which can leak and destroy rivers and communities. The Shearer power plant produces cheap electricity, but is costly in other ways, they say. It's only cheap um, for consumers because the um, so-called externalities um, of the pollution effects of the entire process are not taken into account. The activists aren't allowed onto the plant grounds, but they know how the coal is transported to the facility. Trains can be as long as um, 140 uh, cars and uh, they often come in at night and um, it's approximately a one to two week journey from Wyoming just to get here. The coal burned here at the Shearer plant comes from Wyoming. It has to travel across almost the entire country to get here. We pay a visit to the enormous mines thousands of kilometers away. Gigantic trucks carry the coal to the waiting railway trains. Shannon Anderson is a lawyer who has been monitoring the coal industry for many years. This is one of about 100 trains that leaves the Powder River Basin every day filled with coal. Um, you'll see the loadout facility there. This is for the Rawhide Mine. And um, they put the coal on the train and then the coal goes to other states. Until the 1970s, agriculture and tourism were Wyoming's principal industries. But mining has really taken off since then. The region has some of the thickest coal seams on Earth, and the supplies here will last for decades. Thousands of temporary workers make a living in the city of Gillette in northwestern Wyoming. The environmental impact is secondary. They're here for the quick cash. As you can see from the mine behind me, coal is still a very dirty business. Um, it requires a lot of trucks. It requires, you know, the trains to get the coal from the coal mines. It requires, you know, these large power plants that don't run at top efficiencies either. Because nearly half of U.S. electricity is generated by coal, workers here are confident the boom will continue. And coal mine owners are looking to expand into new markets. Colorado, Illinois, Kansas, um, Iowa, Ohio, all of the Midwestern states, including as far south as Texas, as far north as uh, North Dakota. We have shipped coal as far east as Virginia. It costs approximately $12 per ton to ship it. It costs about that same amount to mine it. Coal mining is cheap in Wyoming, but the quality of the black coal is poor. The local coal goes to the domestic market. It's not worth exporting it abroad. When the world's economy picks up and there's a demand for high-quality coal for making steel, coking coal, and other uses for that high-quality coal, that coal will be shipped overseas to users overseas and contractors, and a Powder River Basin coal will then fill in behind it. Utility company Georgia Power has focused on producing power as cheaply as possible. Future pressure to meet emission standards is part of the reason why the parent company was recently hit with an investor rating downgrade. Environmental activists are encouraged by the backlash against the energy dinosaur.
it's hugely inefficient from the cradle to the grave. You know, in Wyoming, it's not efficient. You know, getting it here is not efficient. Chopping it up and burning it is not efficient. Shipping it hundreds of miles is not efficient. We could be a lot smarter. We could have solar panels generating power where we need it to be used. But as long as coal generated electricity in the US remains inexpensive, renewable energy producers face a daunting task.